As we have discussed in previous videos, when it comes to project management, there are a variety of tools and methods that can be used to help ensure successful completion of tasks. One of the tools we have been talking about is versions of the RACI. As a quick refresher, RACI stands for Responsible, Accountable, Consulted, and Informed, and this matrix can be used to help identify who is responsible for what within a project. Another version of RACI that can be used is RASCI. RASCI stands for Responsible, Accountable, Supportive, Consultative, and Informed. This matrix can be used to help identify not only who is responsible for what within a project, but also who can provide support and assistance with various tasks. Both RACI and RASC. I matrices can be helpful in ensuring that tasks are completed successfully and that everyone on a project team knows their role. However, the RASC I matrix may be more beneficial in cases where there is a need for more clarity around roles and responsibilities, or where more support is needed within a team. In those cases, the letter S representing supportive can be used. For example, you are developing a RASI and someone volunteers to help for a given task even though it might not be their job. An S would indicate that support. That pretty much wraps it up. We've discussed a version of the RACI diagram improves transparency and collaboration while providing valuable clarity by adding another type of classification, supportive. Thanks for watching.